hello everyone welcome back to another video i am recording this video i believe seventh time every time i record something got crashed so we are solving the pilgrimage box you will see the explanation of some codes in the end of this video if you want to see that otherwise let's go and solve the box Okay, let's fire the machine and wait over usual work. Let's put this in the posts file. Sudo narrow this file. Then paste IP this. Let's copy the respected name. Head marks. This is going to be a small T. Why? Here we go. So now we got our host added. Yes. Let's open the notes also. It here. So we can add the steps we'll be performing. Although I won't be taking proper notes, but uh, if anybody wants, uh, I'll fill, uh, clear there those notes after the recording. So you guys can request. First, we'll be using nmap. So let's shoot nmap. Sort of nmap by A. I can read space IP and run okay let's stay let's run that again That's also on the do search too. I'll see you at the end of the scan. Okay, so a uh, scan is complete. Let's fetch the 200s only, then we'll paste it here. Type grab 200. Here we go. Uh, we don't need these files, I believe, because these are the general files we will be able to access these but we need only tit files let's paste it here let's add them too for the future reference okay so let's open these files in the browser over here and clear these We might be able to find something interesting in these files. Let's open. Okay, so it's asking us to save the files. Close these files and open it here. CDF. 
Let me remove these files which are unnecessary. And let's check the nmap output. So it's saying that there's a dot kit found. There might be some another files also. So let's uh, dump them. Uh, for that uh, we will be using the git dump. Let me specify here. Okay, so to use that we have to dump the git file. Let me show you. Uh, it wasn't pre-installed but I installed it. Let me show you in search. Okay. Dump all. This is the one. Here you'll see. You can uh, install it using pip. This will be easy way to install it rather than going here and create the whole process. It will even uh, save on your uh, local environment. So I prefer these over these. Okay, so we have to uh, will be dumping the content from .git. So this is the format. Let's run this command. There's git dump fill to edge and then we specify the file or folder we'll be saving this so I'll be saving this in the CTF folder over here with the pg dump Let's run this. Okay, seems there might be some error uh, that broke the script. Still, let's check what we have got. We'll check that in code over here, which I generally use for CDF. Okay, so we're in the file, and here we found the one user. That's pretty cool. Well, let me put it in the time. I believe or she is going to be a user for to solve the box. A main character. Her prodigy, you say. And what else we have in here? These are some random files which we don't really don't look. Yeah, this. What is this? Let's check. Let's check with the exploit. It seems I have seen this before. Yeah, see, I have seen this before somewhere. I have used it. So, if I remember correctly, this is some image based vulnerability that we'll be exploiting let's check on github okay so I have uh, checked this before maybe some another box or somewhere else let's open these three files okay so this is LFI over here what we generally do we create a payload or uh, the infected file which will be png will uh, upload that png on sync and it will give us another file on which will perform the identify this is this is spelled uh, wrong so there's not going to be n here will perform identify and that will provide us an hexa which we can convert and see the result like here. Okay, so let's uh, download this and open generate.py. 
we got it okay let's run this exploit and try to expose this functionality as I've already done this so I remember this what was the step sorry I forgot Python 3 not here CTF cell 10 3 you can read now we'll build the file uh, which we'll be looking for let's look for the username first which we generally look for c slash password and this is going to be an output file uh, we can name whatever we want so we'll do this it's going to be an image file not a php file so let's generate a payload i believe we got our payload here there we go now let's uh, upload this payload over here and we do go disconnect shrink this is the file we got so let's do this wget now again i'm telling you guys this is spelled wrong we don't have to perform this step we'll directly perform this step and we will you will see that there is some hexa in this file let me show you we haven't checked the whole code and other stuff yet we'll check that later once we get the usernames so identify this what was uh, what was the file name we just downloaded 64 something yeah there we go this is a hexa file which contain the output let me show you the output on the server chef here I paste it as it is in hexa so we'll paste it here as you can see we have an output and like I told you she might be going to be a user so as you can see Emily is a user over here and there's another root user so we found the user let's uh, check now other files which I told you will look into so it was here actually if this will show yeah right it won't show but before this uh, I generally use another way to look into these files because uh, if you if you look manually that will take no time so I usually prefer this way over here I am going to grab all these parameters let's see if it can find something uh, sometime you can try using the last domain name and like dot o dot ir or something I haven't mentioned over here so let's give it a shot password here and we'll be checking that pg dump over here enter see we got a lovely output although there are some big files over here we can skip them there is nothing not a single password let's check for the HTTP did it found something I 
I believe no. What else of the also we can also try the box name this but it should be small letters I believe okay lovely we found the SQLite DV path which might contain some username and password over here so let's paste it here Yeah, the put it in full screen and dump it again so I think paste to a screenshot I'll also add the steps to the payload how we'll perform this lovely let's clear this what else we can look over here as we already checked for the password not sure if there's going to be any username let's check for the username like uh, we just got if there is anything related to her nothing I believe nope there is one thing she is in commit not in another file what a problem as we have already got our path to enter in the box let's explore this path and check if we can get something go it there we will be using generate over here we'll paste the path okay I was in an idiot I didn't paste the path over here let me paste it here first then regenerate the output it was the thought okay so let dump the data for this point we put it here so we should be Put it in below. Okay, so let's paste it here. It will generate another file. Let me take a screenshot of this. Now we'll W get. But first, we have to upload the file. this is going to be fine let's take a screenshot of this too and run this spray box run got the new file let's take a screenshot of this too and deliver this file and paste it here once we got the output let's clear this and now we'll run valley's validate command uh, sorry identify command and we run this command on the image we just downloaded it did a quite bit of so, so we'll remove some of the zeros from here so we can render it fast I believe uh, they made this intention this big so we can remove some as it's going it's not going to read everything over here there are some other numbers we'll remove it till here
Yeah, that's it. We can you know it so far here. As this is in hex code. Okay, so let's uh, perform the same step. We'll put this hex uh, in the cyber share. And we'll see the output. What it has for us. Like I said, this file must be containing a password. As you can see, this is a SQL database. And here's the user. Actually, uh, in this database query, as you can see, a user, they didn't, uh, over here, they didn't separate the query or username and the password. So there should be a comma over here. So let's uh, copy this. We got password also. And paste it here. Or we should paste the load output here. Okay, so next we are going to log in into the user. Let's try that. Uh, not sure if we need this, although this is also the same script, I believe. I guess it is same, but yeah. That let me copy this whole stuff and put it in the knob so I can arrange this afterward. This was exploit found. Okay. So let's try to access SSH. Not so though, it's a set. MLD yet. With false IP. This is how IP. Click. It should ask for the username. Yes. And we don't have to copy this as this is going to be a user. And they didn't separate it. Uh, as you can see, here's the query. So in one query, uh, it was taking all these. So username must be separate and the password must be separate. So over here, we'll just copy this much. So big chunky boy, one, two, three. Copy this, paste it here and run. And lovely, we got our SSH connection. Copy this, paste it here. Get SSH connection. We found it. And let's check if there's any flag. Yeah, we have flag, but I won't be showing because, or I can show, I'll blur this. Let's cat. Use a top txt. There we go. Here we got flag. And let's submit this flag. This was easy for me because I have already done this. Now accessing the root might be difficult for me because I'm not sure how they have done that. So it was a piece of cake. It was easy. How many other reports? Okay, there are many who order for the piece of cake. And I'm going to be one of them. Lovely. Okay, so... Whenever we enter in the SSH, we generally look for uh, two or three things. First, if sudo can run any file without password or service without password, let's check. Let's first clear sudo hyphen l. It seems it don't have any file which uh, can run without password. 
let's clear this other thing we check if there is any service which is running on the bash so let's check that also ps one aux pipe will grab the output because there are so many other services might be running on so we just want to check only the, the one which are running bash and here we go seems like this file is running bash service let's copy this and cut this file but before that let me take a screenshot So we'll cap this file and see what's okay. And this is not what I was expecting. Okay. One made a mistake. I just have to paste this. So we got a script running on this process. Let's copy this script and paste it here. So let me explain you guys this script or which we are using. As for the blacklist part, uh, this must be the parameter where if it find these two variables, so strings it will blacklist the file i believe then for the next part uh, over here for this it is to use identify way to monitor this uh, path uh, directly for uh, any newly uh, created files then it will over here it will extract the file with the file name from the read line using tail and seed command so like you can see over here this tail and seed then uh, over here uh, it seems uh, it's running binwalk to extract the content of the file and store the output in binout okay so it seems uh, it is using some another tool for this We'll check this later. Then it then I think uh, over here it's uh, iterating over uh, each keyword of the phrase in the blacklist, uh, like these two keywords, and checking those uh, in extracted content in binout. If uh, over here, if it contain the ban word, then uh, if it found any match, uh, it will immediately remove the file. Uh, once uh, files are removed, then it will break the uh, loop since we already have identified a match. So this is what this uh, script is doing. So things uh, we have to check this because this is the one uh, binwalk with. Uh, which is extracting the content of the file and storing it into the binout. So if if that file doesn't contain any of these blacklisted words, it might run that file. So let's check if there is a, an exploit for binwalk. But first we'll check uh, what is this actually. Let's just copy the binwalk. And paste it over here. Okay, so it is some sort of service, and it's also showing us the version. Let's check what is this one about. Let's mark this over here.
you also have to keep in mind it is running the file which are in shrunk so i believe we have to upload some file over here in the shrunk which will tell him to trigger this file to scan this otherwise it will run without any problem so we have to check this and in the top parameter port we have already seen what has been more although we are not sure what it is but uh, let's see So as we have already caught this, so it must be now we are performing actually the privilege escalation. So let's uh, put it over here as we perform privilege escalation. So the steps are going to start from here. Okay, so exploit. Looking for the exploit, as we said, as I said earlier. Let's uh, look for this. Yes, this, this file. So there is some sort of exploit. So what is this doing? This is a CNE of this file, and the version it including. So over here, it seems it's. Uh, taking the argument for the file the file name or which will give it the IP on which it will listen like uh, the netcat IP and the port it will listen on and over here it will start the other process like it will take the argument or all of these argument over here the collection of these so if a uh, file and the uh, IP and port it will trigger this header PFS which is uh, another hexa format I'm not sure what is this that some format will do and then it will put a line uh, import bin walk and some another stuff over here it is calling for the and map now uh, with the argument we have provided it over here it is taking IP and over here it is taking for the port number which will provide and then it will uh, trigger the bash over here so I believe uh, we have to upload this file on Emily account then we have to move this file over here in the shrunk where it is actually checking for the suspicious uh, strings like the blacklisted strings if that got bypassed then it will run this or maybe if, cat, if that cat caught I believe if that cat bypassed it will run so let's give it a hit Uh, let's download this coil. Power here. I believe it got downloaded. Yep, it is downloaded. We can close code. Go back to the terminal. Split the terminals. We perform CD, CTF, LS. Let's I use. Part um, 3 false this also match. Well, as I said, it is taking the argument. Now we'll specify the IP to listen to. So IP is going to be 10.10.16.40 and netcat 
port should be 9001 let's generate the coin okay we didn't give it the output file name so no sure if uh, we have to put it before or after let's uh, check that into the explode What it is asking for the file which we want to create exploit from. So let's give this file. No such file or folder. Okay, so we have to provide it for a file first, then it will put the port number and type in that file. So this was a file. Enter. You can now resume and share bin box. Exploit and start your local network case So I believe uh, first we have to upload it over here. Then it will work for us. Start with this. Let me add the script to what's so here. The one we are using works like. Not so. Let's copy this and paste it here. Okay. We can put this without all it. But let's start foot. Lovely. So we have our exploit here. Okay, so let's exploit this. I believe we have to upload it over here. So we'll create a Python worker solo. Python 3. Python M. I think it was HTTP dot server. And the port number we want to specify. Yeah, in the feed. And over here we will perform WZ. Next, the HTTP double code ten dot two dot sixteen dot forty, and the port on this is going to be eighty slash. The file name is going to be binbox. Exploit dot PNG I 
finals, correct? So we uploaded the exploit over here. Now we add that exploit in the path which it was showing. Uh, over here, this one where it is actually opening the file and checking the stuff in it. Not it's actually not checking the file, it's well uh, with what it was doing here. It is creating a new file. So we are creating a new file or pushing this payload. Understood. So let's control C. Clear. Now we will start our net catalyst now. This ice one held and P over nine to use this. And we will talk Peter's fine bin walk exploit over here, and it should trigger the fine and lovely. We bought our reverse shell, so I wasn't found. Square pit this and the call. We've screwed down the screenshot. Oh, and hoy. I am root. I am root. So let's copy this. Write it in the note. And we got the root file. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you didn't understand any step, do comment below or I'll tell you. And thanks for watching so far. And I have seen that uh, many of you haven't subscribed. Those who have watched my previous video. So please do subscribe to the channel. Where you will see more videos in the future. Thanks.